So what we do here, and now see here, we got the plastic, we're in the industrial, I can't have glass, blah, 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 at home. <laughs> Use your big glass bowl, okay? You wanna melt chocolate. I've got two of the big, big size chocolates, okay? Not if I'm around, it'll be about half that much and you might wanna, you know. There's two in here, I got an extra for him. For the big guy, <laughs> for Shrek. So you use two of these. I grab one with milk Fiona. chocolate with almonds and one with just plain milk chocolate. You can now, do whatever. how'd you melt this? Did you melt that over a double boiler or what'd you do? Absolutely, because that's what uh, some cooks do. <laughs> But yeah. why, what did you yeah. do? No, you throw it in the microwave. Come on, seriously. Okay. <laughs> you do it I mean, for about 30 seconds. You're the home chef. That's what right. the whisper yes. You throw it in the microwave. You don't want it real hot because then it's going to, when you throw in the Cool Whip, it's going to melt it off. And it'll just be a big glob of mess. So you got to you gotta melt it enough and then have it right before it starts um, getting thick and hard again. Mm -hmm. That's when you can start adding. So no, you, actually, I do it for maybe 30 seconds. No, now, actually, I was about to say, in the professional world, later on, we can actually check, see if we can't find one of these on the, on the T-tips. You can actually show folks, just in case the chocolate is too hot, how we do what's called tempering. How we add some of the hot to the cold, hot to the cold, so it doesn't break it down and cool it all. Well, that's what I'm going to kind of do, because I'm never really good at that. Exactly. Because so. <laughs> I keep eating your chocolate bar. I think I've got, got it, so it's cool enough. Go. Yeah, it's not burning my fingers, so that's a good thing. And that's the best part right there. I mean, you've got to clean off your fingers. You have to stay sanitary. You, you have to test to make Sandy sure the chocolate's done. <laughs> so then, instead of just dumping the whole thing in, like mm -hmm. you were saying, you just take a little bit, okay? And then we're just going to fold all this together. Now, are you getting a tight yeah. shot of that there? This is about going to be full big. Action. It works better in a big glass bowl at home. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> Rather than a square plastic one, but you can kind of get the idea. You're right. Kind of the, the, you're right. Because actually, the, the curve of the bowl helps you. It actually yeah. does help. Exactly. You just kind of scrape it around and dump it on top. Cut it. Now, I know yeah. you happen to have three kids, two of which are probably able enough to wield a spatula right now. But do you ever let them help you make this dish at home? I have. They their favorite part is looking at the bowl like a, and, and looking at the finger. <laughs> look at the bowl, right. the finger, and the spatula. So yeah, this is just gonna be the simplest thing. And then when we get a uh, get some uh, consistency in here, get this building up. Then we can throw in some more almonds, if you want. Yes. Now, I got this dish from my mom. She made it, and she didn't ever add too many almonds. I happen to like A lot almonds. of almonds. So I add a whole bunch of almonds. We can now, use now, now, I hope, I hope you're like watching this. this. He just said he didn't like your pie. See, I'm starting trouble I for the holidays. I did not say I didn't he like it. He said you never use enough almonds, and your pie just doesn't measure up, because, you know. I just know. made it my own. Okay. <laughs> As she always told me to do. <laughs> you're killing me, man. <laughs> So you just add those in, I fold start those in as well, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be very simple, and then we can just add some more when it starts getting, uh, when we got the temperate, right? Yeah, right. yeah. Now this so one you probably just it, go for it. Yeah, you just kind of mix it all up, yeah. And this is gonna wow. be so simple. Then you take everything. We're just gonna mix it all up. So it's it took so one whole. Well, I won't say you know whip. Paste, whip, cool, whippy kind of stuff. Yeah. And two chocolate bars or one chocolate bar? Yeah. Two chocolate bars, oh. two big chocolate bars, some almonds, and uh, that's it. And, wow. So you actually use the whole almonds as well as the sliver? I do. Now, after now, you this, you're going to take and do what? I'm gonna, I did that because uh, Steph is not here and she's not going to eat this one. She doesn't like it because she can't see the big almonds that are in the pie, so she gets surprised when she bites into it. Oh. She doesn't like it. So uh, I don't use as much when I'm making it at home. Uh, so I'm not making it Steph, at home today. He's saying he can't do his own thing <laughs> when you're around. He's just like, you know, his mom don't make the pie right. When he tries to make his pie, you're trying to mess it up. I'll get you in trouble before the holidays are. You no, know, <laughs> no. You know why? Because Steph knows you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's saving me right now. All right. Well, so this is so easy. And then we take a graham cracker crust. Mm -hmm. Bam! <laughs> you can roll your own out and make your own if you want. I have. Shut. Did today. Look, <laughs> I'm a professional chef. If I don't have to make the darn thing, so I almost used the boop or I almost had to, you know, edit myself, self-censoring. You look, you know, even professional chefs, we actually buy crust. Even when I'm making pies at home, I'm making quiche. Look, I can make a crust. I, 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 I can make ketchup if I want to, but I'm not making ketchup every time I want a hot dog. Your last name isn't Heinz. It's not Heinz. <laughs> Exactly. So guess what? You know, Graham makes a nice crust. The Bisco, right. Graham cracker, they make a crust. Buy it, fill it, use it. Easy. It's Holiday. So make easy. it simple. That's right. Keep it simple. Put put the effort into a main dish or something, exactly. something else. 
Well, I guess unless you really want to. But. They don't feel like a real so. cook unless I actually make my own graham cracker crust. Get over it. Get over well, it. Well, then make your own graham cracker crust. That's what I tell them. <laughs> so, right, so what is, do we do from This is essentially done. Oh, man. Ooh. So, see, like that. Well, then we can see, whip it all up and make it all fancy like and that's that. That's it. You go for it. Do you freeze or anything? You just ready to put go? It in the, you, well, it depends on how much time we have. Okay. Okay. So, you can put it in the refrigerator for a few hours. Just pretend I'm one of your kids. There you, there you go. <laughs> That's my favorite so, part. Okay. Or if you don't have much time, mm. you throw it in the freezer. But what, what you want to do is have it set so this, when you cut oh. it, it's not going to just glop all over. Oh, okay? that's good. So then, the next thing that's is good. we can take little, this is how we do it. In your house, you just crumble. Oh, it Because you're on the rest, I'm like, that's right. grate it, man. Come on, grate <laughs> it, grate it. That's all you got to do. That's I have done it where I take the knife and shave off a little curly well, things, make necessary. it all pretty. This is home. The kids get to get involved. You know, number one, you get to raid their bedrooms to see if they got any chocolate bars around right. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think I have it. But what's left over from Halloween? Just go raid their goodie bags. Yeah. You know, take all your kids' chocolate and make this pot. That's what I say. There you go. Yeah, put, that that in the, put that in the refrigerator for a couple hours. You're good to go. 